Coach, how's every uh, how did, how's the secondary looking uh, three weeks in the camp? Uh, you know, right now the the good thing is we're getting a lot of quality work, and you know, we have guys that are practicing every day, and so that's a huge plus. Obviously, we have a, guy, a lot of returners. You know, we got guys that have played in games, so that's always uh, that's always a lot more fun to coach guys that have been through some of those things before. So, been very happy with uh, the amount of work that they've got in, their retention uh, that they've had from last year, yeah, yeah. and obviously, like I said, like that they've been working extremely hard. So, very happy with that. When you talk, uh, Bill, about having so many guys back in the secondary, what does that do for the defense as a whole? Uh, it's just confidence. The way it starts with it starts with confidence. Obviously, we, the good thing is we have guys back. We also have talented guys back, so that, that's a plus for us. You know, sometimes guys back can be confusing. Uh, so we have some very talented guys back there, but it does help you. It makes you play faster. You know, we talked about that today. You know, it's like, oh, just give them to play hard, give them to play fast. You cannot play fast if you don't know what you're doing. That's impossible. And so, so with their retention and their their high football IQ right now, they're doing a great job of you know play fast because they, they know what they know they know exactly what to expect what's going on. Well, I know it's always next man up, but how tough was it last year to not have a healthy Saquon? Yeah, it sucked. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it really sucked. Yeah, I mean, it was like, uh, you know, what was it, third, fourth series, whatever, and he played so well, you know, and then he showed how tough he was, how he came back and played. And so not having him was because he has great, you know, he has great range. He also has great cover skills. He can also get matched up on some people. So we never had the chance to, I mean, I think literally it was like the first first series in the second quarter, I think, is when it was. So, yeah, so you get a knock on wood like that. He's at a great camp, and we expect great things from him. Was he? You know, how tough was it when he came back? Like I said, he, he did such a great job to come back, but was it just tough that he missed so much time? Yeah, it was tough. It, it was like that. You know, like said, you know, now he's 100% healthy, but, you know, he had to have – he was restricted, you know, just by just by the apparatus he had to wear. You know, so that was, he was restricted that way. I don't know what he had still in the Maryland game. He had to have, like, a bunch of tackles, you know, like that. So, so one, thing it, one thing it did show uh, me always had was that's a tough dude. So that was impressive. What have you seen out of your freshmen in the secondary tank and Najee? I've uh, been very happy with those guys. You know, I said I, it's such it, we, we, it is just such a difference that when you come into a division of football. I don't care where you're at, any level, it is just so different, so hard. All of a sudden, it's like wow. There's a lot of different calls or situations, things going on. They're a lot different. So those guys have handled that very, very well. So I've been very happy with Tank. Been very happy with Najee. Been done done a great job for us. Uh, Timmy Burrow's done a great job for us uh, back there too, so we've been very happy with those guys. Are you expecting to see some of those guys play their first year? Uh, we sure, we, we sure to have not made any sort of decision that we wouldn't play them right now, so we, we prepare them all at the time. I can see you guys are practicing them, and they're, they were getting reps today, and so uh, we just keep preparing those guys to play, because again, you never know how fast things can change. I've been in a situation before, uh, in a bowl game before, where I had a safety play seven plays we'd never played in all season. He was like he was he was the sixth safety, and all of a sudden the third quarter he was it was he was the second safety. So that, that can happen sometimes. So keep training them. How do you expect guys like KJ Gray and Zane Campbell? How do you expect to rotate them into your safety? But uh, we haven't made any exact announcement as far as how we do a, a rotation or thing right there. But uh, those guys are playing very well, and uh, and, and, and KJ Gray will be heavily involved. Uh, right from the get go. It might be you might have just kind of answered this, but I think you moved him, KJ, to a little more of a strong side, uh, strong safety. He's, he's played both for us. He's played both sides for us to be able to do that. So, uh, like I said, uh, KJ has got a very high football IQ, and so we've been able to train him at, at two different spots, which has been been really good. And that versatility, versatility for us right there. You know, obviously, what he has is you know he was a really 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 good wide receiver in high school and so he's got tremendous ball skills and range and then uh, you know the thing that jumps out about him is you know he's a he's a you know he's not a willing tackler he, he'll get after it and tackling and stuff so uh, that's encouraging for him so he has earned he's earned the right to get some playing time how about Kai Hester? Have, what have you seen from him? And, and can you see him take a next step to, in his uh, game? Kai's had, he's had he's had an exceptional camp. Uh, what he what he, you know, he's got again. I keep using the term high football IQ at that spot. You have to, but he does a great job of playing. He understands situations, how to play plays ahead of time, the most of that. And that's allowed him to make plays for us in camp uh, because of that intelligent level for us right there. So again, I'm very been very impressed with him like that. He had a good day again today. Uh, at practice right there. All, obviously, we are, we are a huge work in progress, uh, but uh, we, we're making strides. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks guys.